All right, this lecture is going to be a short tutorial on the Unix awk command. Uh, this is much like the sed command uh, from the previous tutorial. This lecture is going to be a very unjustifying tutorial of the utility of awk. Uh, we're basically just going to show you some of the basic features of it. Um, and, you know, awk is a, is a fully fun, well, it's a programming language in its own right, and, and it has, a, you know, many features, you know, if, while, for, loops, conditional statements, and other that, which we're basically not going to cover at all, because again, uh, like I said during the said lecture, um, most of this can be done with Python in a much cleaner syntax, to, uh, not necessarily faster or better, um, but, but most likely more readable, and since you guys have already been learning Python to some extent, uh, I think it'd be better in the context of uh, the high performance computing class to just kind of stick to that language. Uh, but I just wanted to make you aware of it. You know, it, awk is very good for kind of what we call one liners. Uh, you can do a lot of things in a really short kind of one line uh, from the command line uh, action with, with awk. Uh, the name's kind of funny. I know it's named after the three uh, creators of it, the authors of it. Um, neat thing about awk versus sed is that you can actually in identify and manipulate individual fields in a line. So, um, you, you know, fields can be uh, delimited by commas or white space or whatever. Uh, so, and, and because it's one of the few Unix commands that can do computations, you can actually replace a lot of kind of spreadsheet functionality uh, with awk. And, and a lot of, you know, in the old days, um, a lot of uh, awk was often used for kind of writing reports and other things, uh, doing spreadsheet operations and getting output. And uh, so your, your basic uh, components of an awk instruction will be the, you know, the command, of course, um, then followed by a list of options. In this case, this option dash f colon would change the default delimiter. Uh, you know, the delimiter is what separates fields in a line. Uh, in this case, it would, sep it would change it to colon versus the default, which is just a white space or a tab. You could also set that to a comma or anything else. Um, then you're going to have some selection criterion. Um, a lot of times this is just similar to said addressing, but you can also kind of give it uh, a, a conditional operation as shown there. And then uh, much kind of like the find command, uh, although the syntax is a little different, uh, you, you have some action that you're going to perform on it, and um, often it's just to simply print it to the screen, but, but that's uh, the, the last there. And then, you know, the, the stream can come from a file or it can be piped into awk. Okay. So here are a couple examples of uh, selection criterion. You know, you can use, so basically it can rep 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 replicate all the functionality of said, uh, although it takes one extra command. You know, if you just want to print lines, you're better off, you know, using said. But uh, here, you know, if you, if you just wanted to search all lines in a file for that, that contain the string foo uh, and then print it, then, then you could use this command. Uh, this would print the second field of foo, okay, uh, of, I'm sorry, the second field of a line that only contained the string foo. So you see the caret anchors uh, foo to the beginning of the line, and the, uh, the dollar sign is, is the line ending symbol, and then this would print it out. So again, uh, by default, white space delimits fields, but you can change it with a dash F. Um, so then there's also some, uh, uh, you know, you can, you can print lines 1 to 5 in a file by using these built-in variables number range, you know, 1 to 5, and then print it out. Um, you could also, you know, use this. So this would print out all um, entries from the sixth field that are greater than 2,000, okay? So let, let's go over and at least look for printing purposes. Uh, you know, at the print statement, a couple of examples. So, um, one thing we might do is, uh, since we all have access to that Etsy password file, um, we can, uh, well, let's just take a look and remember what's in that. So, if we just look at, uh, say, Etsy password on Shamu, uh, you get all this. Well, you see that the, the fields in this file are obviously delimited with colons, so we'd want to change the default delimiter. There's no spaces in between the fields. So, uh, one of the things we could do with awk is we could uh, awk, and we're going to use the uh, dash f and change the field delimiter to a colon, uh, 
and then we could search for all lines that contain the string Millwater. Okay. And uh, well, then we'd want to print that. And Etsy password. Okay. So there's the the um, there's the output of that. Of course, uh, we can use regular expressions here. So uh, this printed all that uh, contain uh, a capital um, M. Uh, we could also change that to a lowercase m, and you see there's one line there. Um, but we could use a regular expression there uh, to search for either capital or lowercase m. And uh, so then there you see the, the output, okay? So we could also uh, we could also only choose to say print the fifth column, okay? I'm sorry. Um, let's let's uh, do it differently. That that would search the that would rather search the fifth column for uh, Millwater. What we actually want to do is simply print the fifth column. And if we do that, you can see that there's a, a list of names, okay? And uh, so we get, we could go a little farther to kind of see uh, if we pipe the output of that into, uh, say, another another alt command. Um, and uh, in this alt command, we'll basically search for one or any number of characters um, and from that we're going to print the first uh, followed by the second fields okay and there we you see we get a, a list of names of course if we wanted to reverse the order of those we can just simply say the second field you know followed by the first and there we get uh, kind of reversed. Um, we could also, instead of using print uh, alone, we could use print F, which then uses a C style uh, f formatting syntax. So we could, uh, for instance, do something like this. And then we can get some special formatting there. So the first one is, uh, you know, 20 spaces followed by 12 spaces. And again, we can we could reverse the order of these if we'd like. Let's see it differently. So these are some of the things that we could do, uh, you know, with the print statement in awk. and awk. Uh, and th th this just basically, you know, is uh, an example of what I just did. Um, one of the neat things about awk is it is one of the few kind of built-in Unix uh, commands that can do arithmetic. So, you know, if we just simply, real quick, quickly, if you wanted to, uh, you know, do some arithmetic, you could just simply say, you know, echo 22.7, pipe that into awk, and simply print 1 over 2 and that should give us a rough estimate of pi, as you see there. Um, so we have, you know, all the different arithmetic operators that we can have access to there. And so, of course, you know, here I'm just echoing from the screen, but um, also have a, a file here that you see, uh, and this has some random kind of numbers in it um, that uh, we could use, basically, we get rid of this and uh, run that. You can see I'm multiplying the two columns there. Um, it will do floating point arithmetic, so you could do something like this. And you see there in the last entry, it handles the floating point arithmetic. So this is what I was saying that, you know, you can basically do spreadsheet type operations on files um, with awk. 
So on this slide there, there's the, the full listing of uh, kind of the arithmetic operations. And I'm not going to go into all the other features because, again, awk really is a, a programming language and you can write very complicated programs with, you know, hundreds of line programs that do very complicated things and it has, uh, you know, some kind of more complex data structures, uh, arrays, you can write your own functions. Um, it has if, for, while constructs. Um, you, can, you can run awk, uh, you know, an awk program by calling a file, essentially. Um, with that, you use the uh, option dash f. So you could put all your awk instructions in a file and then call it with that. Uh, it also has string and logical comparisons. We saw that a little bit earlier. Um, and it also, you know, regular expressions, which we also saw just a little bit of. So, you know, this is by no means a, a comprehensive tutorial of awk. Uh, we're going to leave most of the more complicated things, uh, you know, for instance, if you actually wanted to uh, operate on an array of data somehow in a loop, uh, we're going to leave that to Python just uh, because, again, the syntax will be much cleaner. Uh, you guys already know Python to some extent, so it'll, uh, it'll help us out in that regard. But I just wanted to make you aware of AUK. Uh, it is a great one-liner tool. I think if you go out and you Google AUK one-liners, you'll get a, a listing of many, many kind of things you can do in one short command with awk uh, that is, uh, you know, kind of powerful. So, thanks.